Churches in the historic town of Lahaina destroyed. Power and communications on the island crippled. Residents and visitors urgently evacuated. Others literally running for their lives in desperate sprints to the ocean to escape the heat and smoke. Many of the injured were treated for burns. The fire sweeping across the western part of Maui, driven by strong winds fueled by a hurricane hundreds of miles away that initially kept firefighting helicopters on the ground. Miguel, the apocalyptic scene in Maui unfolded before sunrise. An island wildfire so explosive, flames poured into the Pacific, forcing the desperate to plunge into the ocean to escape the inferno. Careful right here. The Coast Guard quickly plucking roughly a dozen from the water as witnesses say the unstoppable blaze ripped across homes and took at least six lives. The smoke was just so thick. People were running around looking for refuge. It was the heat was unbearable. During the chaotic evacuation, oh my God. hospitals treating at least 20 burn victims quickly became overwhelmed. 911 service went down, cell coverage is out, and the National Guard was ordered in to help. It really took us by surprise. As 70 mile an hour winds fanned the flames, the air attack was grounded. Quickly, multiple fires erupted. Historic sections of Lahaina were swallowed by flames and engulfed in smoke. This is not a safe place to be. On certain parts of Maui, we have shelters that are overrun. Calling the unfolding catastrophe unprecedented, state officials say some of Maui is without power. Roads are blocked, hotels are closing, and thousands of tourists and locals are trying to flee. Our stuff is still at our hotel, so we are here at the airport with a flight tonight with no stuff. The firestorm came through and took everything with it. But for those with nowhere to go or no way out, the extent of the damage is still unclear. Local people have lost everything. They've lost their house, they've lost their animals, and it's, it's devastating. Tonight, this is the misery in Maui as a wildfire turns this tropical paradise into a hellish nightmare. Here at the airport and across the island, some 4,000 people are trying to leave Maui, which is still under a state of emergency. Airlines are sold out and hotels are evacuating. Many have nowhere to turn.